Polly, we said to the manager there that that result was probably more comfortable than the actual scoreline 2-1 suggested. Would you say that was the case? Um, well, we started off brightly and then obviously lose a sloppy goal, the attack, but I feel we, we played well, we moved the ball well, we created plenty of chances. Um, I know maybe the, the scoreline only scoring two goals, but we did create a lot of chances, so maybe you could say that, but we're, we're pleased with the three points. I guess the reaction that, that the manager got from last week, plus today going behind, when we dominated the first ten minutes or so, we then went behind, but we reacted in the right way, got the heads down, got ourselves back in the game, and getting back to level terms from there on, I thought we dominated the game. I know it showed good character from the boys to get straight back in and we didn't let the heads drop. Obviously last week we had a poor result so we wanted to bounce back this week in front of the home crowd and put on a show. So we, we bounced back well, showed good character to get the goal straight away and then fans got right behind us again and obviously to get the second goal towards the end there was, was a good result. Yeah. From your own point of view, back in the line-up, you seemed to enjoy the game out there. You didn't seem to be playing as just like a natural striker. You were dropping off towards the edge of the box, picking the ball up, linking the likes of Martin Boyle, Brandon Barker, Anthony Stokes. Is that the sort of game you enjoy playing in? Well, I enjoy playing in. The gaffer said to me before the game, just take the shackles off, relax, enjoy it. So I just went out and played as if I would play for the development squad. And Obviously, I'm playing up against more experienced centre-halves, but I enjoyed the, the challenge and, and I thought I'd done pretty well. Yeah. And obviously, on the back of the victory today, a couple of days off the Christmas break, but we'll look ahead to next week. Small matter of an Edinburgh derby at Tynecastle. I'm pretty sure that's one that you would want to be involved in. Absolutely, you know, obviously. What would be unfortunately I didn't come on last in the last Edinburgh derby, so it'd be nice to to come on or play a part in in the Edinburgh derby coming up. Obviously, it's a massive game, um, and we want to continue on from this good result here. And we've got a tough game on uh, Wednesday, and we've got a tough game on Saturday, so we want to have a good good wee, uh, run before the break. And from your own point of view, obviously, as a young player just breaking into the first team. The more games that you can get against these sorts of experienced defence, I guess every week you're coming up against something slightly different. There you are, and the only way you're going to get better is playing against these people. So I'm playing with a great bunch of boys who are there, great players, you know, that, that help me through the game. So I take it in my stride and I'll enjoy the challenges when they come along. Now, we're going to ask you the question. Feel free to answer it any way you like. You're a striker, I suspect. I know what the answer will be. Brandon Barker's ball across goal. Did you get a touch on it? The ball's gone... I crossed pretty quickly, you know, but I'm a striker. All strikers want to claim goals, so I'm going to claim that. Mm -hmm. yep. Certainly looked it from where we were. Brandon's ball looked like it was going to cross goal. Certainly looked as though somebody got a touch on it mm -hmm. to knock it past Scott Fox. So, you know, you might as well claim it. Might as well. I was uh, only seen it just go in the back of the net, and I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll take that one. Jumped over the, the barrier with the fans with Brandon, and then... Uh, the ref goes to me, assuming you score another one, don't jump over the barrier like that, so I'll think, oh, that'll be my goal then. <laughs> Fair enough, if yeah. the ref's giving it to you, yeah, that's exactly. what counts. A couple of days off for Christmas, yep. not something that you often get as a professional footballer. Have you just got uh, quiet time planned with the family, or is there anything exciting that you've got up your sleeve? Um, all my family are over for Christmas, they come over every year, so it's a full house. Um, so I'll just be a nice quiet one in there with, with the family, yeah. But obviously, I see, looking forward to an Edinburgh derby. That was vital for us to get back in the saddle today, having lost against Aberdeen. Hearts have dropped points against St Johnson, so a victory in the Edinburgh derby would give us an opportunity to move even further clear of them again. Absolutely, you know, obviously Rangers dropped points as well today, um, so we're, we're right in there. And Edinburgh derby, it's a, it's a must-win game really, so if we win that, we go ahead of them and we have a good wee run there. Yeah.